welcome viewers to another episode in a series of episodes that are focused on extensive revision of the August 2023 Mathematics Paper 1. So if you haven't seen other episodes, please go to our YouTube channel and check for playlists that contains these extensive revision of each and every question from this paper. So questions are grouped in according to the paper and the topics. This it's important for you, especially if you are struggling with a specific topic. You go to a specific topic, you find a series of questions from different papers as far as 2017. Let us look at question 12. 12a, solve 5 to the power negative 3x equals 125. So again, this is one of the common questions which comes um, from the indices. So let us uh, start with a. So a is so. The first thing is, this is the same as 5 to the power negative 3x. Then we need to express this 125 in the base of 5. So what you are saying is, how many times should we multiply a given number to give us 125? Or what number can we multiply itself a given number of times to give us 125? So we can look at 5. In all the cases, this base that we are given, this base should be expressed in terms of 125. So what you are saying is we need to express 125 as a base of 5. So what you are saying is how many times should we multiply 5 to give us 125? So we multiply 5 by 5 it will give us 25. Multiply by 5 to give us 125. So this tells me that I need to multiply 5 by itself 3 times to give me 125. So 125 is the same as 5 to the power 3. Now you notice that the bases are the same. So if the bases are the same, what it means is even the powers should be equal. So at this point you say negative 3x equals 3. Because as long as the bases are the same, it means for this equal sign to odd, even the powers should be the same. Then you divide by negative 3, you divide by negative 3, then x is equal to negative 1. You notice that if I substitute x whatever there is in, x in this part of the equation subtract I mean substitute it with negative 1 you are going to end up with 5 to the power 3 because it will be negative 3 times negative 1 to give us a positive 3. You notice that it's the same thing that will be this side. So x is equal to negative 1. Once you do that, you are good to go. So x is equal to negative 1. We look at question B. The diagram shows a sector x or y. The angle subtended at the center is 70 degrees and the radius is 18 centimeter. Calculate the area of the sector x or y taking pi to be 22 over 7. So, the question wants us to find the area of the sector. So, the area of any given circle is given by pi r square. That's for the complete circle. Now, if it's a sector which is part of the entire circle, not the complete circle, but part of so because the complete circle should be like that, my sketch is terrible, should be something like that. But because we are not taking the entire part, we are only taking this part which constitutes 70 degrees out of the total 360 degrees of the circle. Then this tells me now that the area of a sector is given by this angle sub subtending this sector which is now will be theta divided by the 360 for the complete circle degrees then multiply by the area of the circle this is the formula for them the sector so now let us identify what we've been given we know that a theta is equal to 70 degrees What's the radius? This is the radius. So the radius is 18 centimeter. So R is 18 centimeter. 
then we know pi, pi has been given to us, then it's just a matter now of substituting. So when we move to the new page where we're saying area of the sector will equal to now 70 degrees divided by 316 degrees, then multiply by what's pi 22 over 7. Then what's see the radius? The radius is 18, but we are squaring this radius. But because we are squaring, it means it's in R times R, which is 18 times 18. So we have 18 square. So this and that remain with 7 over 36. Because we divide by 10 both sides. Then I'm going to have 22 over 7 times 18 times 18. That's 18 square. Then from there, I know that this 7 and this 7 can cancel. I say 2 into 36 is 18, then 2 into 22 is 11, then this 18 and this 18 cancels, then I remain within 11 times 18. So I come 18 times 11 here, so it will be 1 times 8 is 8, 1 times 1 is 1, then 1 times 8 is 8, then 1 times 1 is 1. Then sum this 8, 9, 198. So 198 is the answer here. 198 centimeter square because you see the area. The question is asking us to find the area. So it has to be in centimeter square. So we have 198 centimeter square as our final answer. So once you do this, you get the four marks.